Retro right here coming at you with an amazing announcement. Uh, today is January 29th, 2017. I'm back to fully collecting again. Uh, naturally, I'm going to buy really big lots. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I'm keeping for my collection. Uh, in the beginning, I'm not going to go as fast paced as I did towards the tail end of last year for the collecting before I had to uh, start selling. I'm going to start slowly getting back into it, but my first and foremost uh, project is getting the room fully ready for a full room tour. Uh, all the games that you see behind you are going to be sold off. Um, there's a few things that I'm probably going to keep for myself, but I still have some bills that I need to pay, which was the reason selling the collection in the first place. But I'm definitely back into it, and you're going to see the stuff that I picked up. I've got a really great jump start into it. Before we get into the video, uh, let me guys know what your last few pickups were in the comments down below. If you haven't already entered my contacts, I already have like 25, 30 entries already. Contest ends in a couple days. Uh, it ends on February 4th at the close of February 4th. All you have to do is... Click the link down below, it'll take you to the video, see what the prizes are if you're interested, and you're subscribed, leave a comment, boom, you're in for an entry. Enough about rambling on on that. Uh, like I said, all the stuff that you see behind you, I am going to uh, price it, reprice it because all those prices are old. Uh, reprice it, tub it. I have three conventions I'm selling at, uh, ZoloCon, uh, there's a trade show, uh, video game trade, uh, it's Tri-County games trade uh, in Gilbertsville, Pennsylvania, and then too many games. After too many games, I'll make the decision on how many games are left, uh, what's the amount of money I need left, and then we'll figure out how I'm going to get rid of the rest of the games. Uh, I'm not going to just go and pull all the games that I want off that shelf because I would just want them all. Uh, so I figured it would be easier for me just to just sell it all, start back over collecting, because the collecting part for me is the fun and the enjoyment, getting the deals, uh, saying that I was able to maneuver a way to get this game for free or maneuver a way to not only get the game for free and make money, that's the part of it I like. The reason why I'm starting back collecting again at this point, which I was always going to go back to collecting, but I wanted to empty the shelves completely, but the reason why I'm fast forwarding it and speeding it up is because my buddy Dan, uh, we did two separate trades. Uh, the first trade, I got these two games in from him. Zelda Link to the Past, which is my favorite game of all time. It's missing the mini hint guide and the map. Uh, I already have the mini hint guide, and I have an um, idea on where to get the map as well. So that'll be complete. My favorite game of all time. I was planning on selling it. I've already sold like four copies of that game. Uh, I get it easily in trades because I had so much good stuff to trade, uh, and that sells really quick. Uh, but... I had every intention on selling that, just like I had every intention on selling Soul Dees, one of the final games in the collection before I had to start selling it. And it was one of the, actually the first pieces that got sold. Um, Soul Dees, awesome, awesome, awesome shooter by Made by Renovations. Every intention on selling this until I did the next trade. And I did the next trade with every intention on selling this as well, uh, because he's literally taken stuff off my shelves over here. So I had to literally put the money back into the house um, until I got my hands back on this. Mega Man X, as soon as I held it, it's such a nice copy of the game. Uh, there is a downfall. It is the Mexico version, so it's got the black and white manual and the box lower quality, and there's no gloss on the label. Uh, but it's still a really excellent condition, complete in box copy. So that's when I started to decide, you know what, I'm going to start collecting again. I talked to my buddy, Alex, and he said that he finally got uh, the game that we've been waiting for him to get in uh, so we could do our trade. Uh, that is Panzer Dragoon Saga. This is my first Sega Saturn game in my collection. This is a phenomenal Sega Saturn game in my collection. One of the big ones. Uh, got it right out of the way early in the gate. Um, I've got a Saturn Flight Stick that I literally just sold to a local game store. Pretty sure I'm probably going to buy that back just to make this game more enjoyable to play. Speaking of my local game store, with part of the credit from the Fight Sick, I bought Albert's Odyssey. I started cleaning out my room. Extra controllers, extra Fight Sticks, extra box and carts from the old collections, and I got over $1,000 in credit. I picked up Albert's Odyssey, and I picked up a few things that I'm going to be selling uh, just to put back into the uh, money. Uh, into the kitty for the collection. 
Next thing I picked up was Super Street Fighter Collection, local Facebook group. Guy was selling his Saturn collection. I was fortunate enough to get this. Um, Panzer Dragoon Saga, I'm sorry, Panzer Dragoon, the first one, and Clockwork Knights from him. Actually, no, it wasn't Panzer Dragoon. It was Clockwork Knights, and it was Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, I couldn't get Panzer Dragoon. I couldn't get Herx Avengers or Resident Evil. Or there was another one that I really wanted, but somebody beat me to the punch. But anyway, enough about that deal. I sold the other two games to recover the cost of getting that game for free. Uh, next, back in April or May, a uh, game store got this traded in. And it's not a game store that is a full-fledged game store. The guy does other things as well. Uh, and the primary focus on him is selling Mario's, Zelda's, Pokemon's, all the cheap end uh, popular titles and systems. So when he gets a really rare and expensive game, it sits in his sh uh, store forever. But he actually really enjoys holding on to them because it's a conversation piece. Well, back then, I was looking to buy this to upgrade my copy. Um, but we couldn't come to terms on a price because he literally just got it and he was extremely attached to it. Well, when I was purchasing a few things that he had mispriced in his store that I could sell, I knew I had some extra spending money, so I took a shot at the game again because he still had it almost eight, nine months later. He actually said that that was the most fair offer that he's received on the game in a really long time. And then he had mentioned that the last sold copy on eBay sold for much higher number than my offer. And in the back of my mind, I said I knew that that was actually my copy that I sold when I sold my collection. Um, and that's Mega Man 5. This is the second rarest uh, complete in box Mega Man game in the North American set. The rarest being uh, Mega Man for the Game Gear. Now, I'm not someone who knows that the print runs and everything. I just know when I went for a full set, Mega Man 5 took me about a year, but Mega Man for Game Gear took me two and a half years to find a complete copy. Extremely hard to find these games. I got this game for a killer price. Someone had messaged me and asked me how much I paid because he just recently paid $175 more than what I paid for this one. So, back to the story of when I was meeting with Alex uh, to pick up the Panzer Dragoon Saga, I messaged, I talked to him, I said, listen, if you can come across this box, because I already had the manual, I had the cartridge, I had everything to go in the box, I just needed the box to complete the copy, and he said that he's been looking for a really long time for the box, and I knew the box was uncommon. So later on that night, I had some eBay spending money because I started selling some manuals, uh, some empty boxes, because remember, the old collection's going out, new collection's going to start over fresh. And I found this copy, and it was probably the nicest copy I've seen in my hands in a really, really, really long time, and that's Earthbound. So, you say, well, Chris, this is definitely a fairly expensive game. I made an offer. The guy had this priced under retail for the condition it's in. It's got the scratch and sniff stickers, never been scratched. The bind, the, the book edge is not coming apart at all. The cart is immaculate. I actually thought that if this was a fake reproduction copy of everything until I looked at it closely. It's just a really well-conditioned copy. The guy was selling it underpriced for what that quality goes for. He was basically selling it for just a, what a complete copy without the scratch and sniff stickers. He didn't know what he had. So I actually messaged him. I said, hey, we take actually less for it. Just for the simple fact that I was being cheap. The guy came back and he countered me. Instead of saying, hey, I can't do it. I got a really good price. He actually countered me and lowered his price even more. I immediately bought it. Didn't even think twice. I traded the car to somebody who had complete unboxed Nintendo games uh, that were in really good condition, and the guy really wanted the car, so he had let me have the better end of the deal. I wound up selling the the box, the complete unboxed Nintendo games, and the loose uh, guide that I already had, and I got that for free. Crazy deal, crazy crazy deal. Now we're going to go back to last Sunday, my buddy Alex messaged me and said, hey, since you're back into collecting again, did you want this back? Um, and when I sold it to him, he was extremely happy to get it. 
but he knew how much it meant to me in my collection to have this game, uh, and that is Crusader of Senti for the Genesis. I was so grateful that he was willing to sell this to me. I really, really enjoyed this game. It is an awesome game to have a complete in box. This copy I stole off of eBay. Uh, this is a mint, mint, mint copy, except for when I put the manual back in, I kind of bent the pages up, which you can technically easily fix this. This is a Zelda clone for those of you who don't know on the Sega Genesis. Uh, I recommend you emulate it if you can't find a cart cheap enough. Uh, the only downfall to this game is it's extremely short. Um, think of like a Zelda handheld short, uh, but it, on a console game. So I got that for a really, really, really killer deal. And the last stuff that I'm going to show you in this video, and I've got a few more things along the, coming along the way. Um, I was at this new store called Second and Charles. Uh, one of my local game stores told one of the guys goes, you got to go check out the store. And I'm like, well, it's kind of far away. But then I realized it's only like 40 minutes away from my job. So I was like, you know what, one day I'll go. Well, I went to Second and Charles. They had a huge, crazy selection of video games. Everything priced at eBay or above. But I wind up getting a killer deal on like Mutant League Football Complete. It was $18. And a couple other things that were priced extremely, extremely under retail. Where I was able to sell that stuff and get this stuff for free. Final Zone, another awesome renovation game on the Sega Genesis. It's more, it's a... Um, top-down uh, game like uh, one of the uh, stages in Contra or just Contra for the uh, Sega uh, PlayStation 1 and this one right here Brigandine they had this priced at $99 I was like okay everything I've had priced in the glass case was dead on well $99 is without the map $99 with the map. Killer, killer price. Disc is flawless. I got to wind up getting, once I sell all the games that I got from there, I got these two games for free, and I'm going to wind up making like 30 40 bucks. Guys, I'm back. Back to collecting. Thanks for the, the long support. Uh, I know the videos have been sporadic, but now that I'm starting collecting again, you're going to see more pickup videos. Don't forget to enter my contest. If you haven't already, Link down below, click it. Contest ends February 4th. Guys, thanks for watching.